Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to get Google Drive onto your server. Um, the thing is, your server is still a computer. Uh, it's Windows based, it's Windows Server OS specific, but it's not a custom OS called like platform and whatnot. It's still a computer. Uh, it looks like Windows 10 if you're running Server 2016. If you're running an older operating system as Server 2012, it's going to look like Windows, I believe, 8.1 or 8. I believe um, so we're gonna go start with the basics here um, again like I said this is still a Windows based machine so it's gonna be like a workstation except that you're gonna be syncing your items to your Google Drive uh, Google Drive is a cloud service um, it's just like you know box Dropbox a few of the other online services that you can sync items to um, there's a little bit of caveat with Google Drive because there's gonna be a little bit more of a limitation of you know the space that you can use but we'll get to that in a moment here first things first I'm gonna go to drive.google.com right it's going to be my very first thing here so I'm already logged in as my user uh, the thing is I have a personal account not a business account so this is just for demonstration purposes if you do decide to go with a larger business account you will have to talk to Google and get a quote for that pricing we do not have that unfortunately this is very specific to Google um, we're just assisting in how to get you connected on there so right now I have a personal account I can do 15 gigs for free you can add on top of that again pricings with Google not with us so I can't give you a pricing on this but we can get you connected so I'm gonna go to my Google Drive and you know, Pro Max Mike is my account. Your account, if you have one, you can log in. If you don't, you will need to create a Gmail account. So I'm just going to log in here really quick. Okay, so right now I'm logged in. Um, I've already filled up my space. 15 gigs is, not, is relatively not much space. Um, so I can buy more storage, but that's a whole nother conversation. So to get you connected, you're going to need to download the desktop client for this server. So in a sense, this is my server, uh, not your server here. Um, so you need to go to settings here and get drive for desktop. And it's going to take you that similar page again. This time you actually have a download link. So I'm going to download, agree and download because you have to abide by the rules. Now it's going to be any like any other Google, you know, um, what you call it, Google application. So it's literally you click, you run, and you let it go for the most part. You hit yes. It's just like installing Chrome. Downloads it, installs it, and then it's pretty easy from there. It's a lot of just one click. So it's complete. Now the thing is, it's going to open a window in, in the background, so you might have to move this out of the way. So we'll wait for it. Now it's here. Uh, we're going to get started. The sign in, you have to sign in again. So using the same, your account, not mine. So I'm going to log in. Okay. So I just hit got it. The thing is, we don't want to take up space with the desktop documents and pictures. So we're going to unclick all this stuff here. And we're going to choose a folder on the storage group. So I have the storage group here, and I'm going to sync my PMD folder because that's like where my projects are. So I'm going to sync this. Okay. The thing is, I already have files in there. So if you're doing a new account, you're not going to get this message. So I'm only going to click continue because I have files in there. So it's about 277 gigs. It's not going to sync the whole thing because I only have a limitation of 15 gigs. But Again, demonstration purposes. Um, if you decide to buy more storage, you know it, this should, in theory, work for you depending on how much storage you will need. Um, we have two different options here for photos and videos as well. It's high quality versus original quality. Um, obviously, it's going to degrade a little bit more if you're going to do high quality. Uh, I think this affects more photos than anything. Uh, I'm not sure how it affects with video clips. Um, it might degrade it to a smaller quality in order to get more space utilized um, because this is 
you essentially freeze unlimited storage on the top and then you have a limited space for originals so I'm just gonna click next you know got it cool I'm gonna sync everything it's well in a sense whatever you check marked in there hit start and it's just gonna go for it uh, it's gonna add a little sidebar item here Google Drive um, and then if you go to your storage group I'm gonna go PMD here see how there's a little sync icon here I believe once it's done it gives you an actual check mark when you know what's actually synced um, and then from there once it's done you'll actually have access to it from your personal computer um, whether it be a Mac or a PC you'll have access to it via the cloud um, the thing is you'll have to wait until it's done the thing about it is it's dependent on your internet connection not the speed of the server it's your internet itself um, whether it be your home internet or your office internet so depending on the speed that upload can take quite a while depending on what you're uploading and how much you're uploading at the same time um, so it might not be available immediately you're gonna have to wait um, I'm gonna go on my actual computer here because this was actually the remote of my server so if I go here I'm gonna sign in just like I did earlier you'll have a Google Drive on here the thing is I'm not gonna see everything yet because it hasn't uploaded but technically you'll see things start dropping down here so computers my computer and then I see a PMD folder here um, I start seeing a little bit of things like folder structure and whatnot in here but I'm not gonna see total files um, except some of these were just from prior uh, for my last sync but you'll start seeing some files in there but you're not going to completely see anything until everything starts uploading um, so this is one way to access your your items from your Google Drive um, you will have options to start downloading items so I believe if you do this little drop down here you can share it out add to my drive um, and then you can also download it straight to your computer um, if you do need to add this back you can drag and drop straight to the browser and start uploading your files so um, you're gonna have to kinda pay attention to what you're updating because the most recent updated files or folders or accessed files should be the ones that will take effect more than the ones that are you know on the server itself so let's say you updated your workstation you drag it onto Google Drive it's gonna sync the newest files from that Google Drive back onto the server and then if you know you make your changes on the server it's gonna sync back the other way so be sure to pay attention to which version you're working with because that's gonna make a big difference um, it's gonna it's a different methodology of a workflow um, it's one of those things you're gonna have to try it and see it I recommend doing this with maybe a smaller project or file maybe even like a Photoshop project just to see what it does um, and then hopefully this will kind of give you a better idea of what this does um, but this is again this is the methodology of Google Drive you can somewhat do this with Dropbox box there's various other cloud services out there as well if you want to take a look into those most of them are gonna be pretty transferable in the same methods of installation um, like I said the server is still a computer it's gonna be pretty much the same as a Windows machine um, like a Windows 10 machine I should say or a Windows 8 machine and you're gonna be able to sync it to the cloud as if you're just working from from there um, again your speeds are gonna matter but this is uh, this is pretty much the workflow for Google Drive